Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Their Excellencies, the Right Honourable Dame Patsy Reddy, Governor General of New Zealand, and Sir David Gascoigne. Tihe Mauri Ora Kata Kiriata Kote Awatea Kakori Hite Manu Kakori Hite Reo Te Manu Ate Kawa Natianara Piki Maira Kake Maira Haere Mairungi Te Komuri Aroha Te Nagoto Te Nagoto Te Natato Katua E hōno re he korori a he mau ngā rongo ki nunga ki te mata o te whenua. He whakāru pai ki ngā tangata katoa. Aroha e nga ngā teina me ngā tuakana e noho nei, i nunga te whakāru ko tahi, pai mārire. I ngā mana, i ngā reo, i ngā iwi o te motu, e hui hui nei. Tēnei aku mihi mahana ki a koutou. Nō mai haere mai rā ki te whanikawana. Kia ora tātou katoa. I specifically acknowledge the Honourable Pini Henare, Minister of the Crown. Our kuia, Dr. Hedi Ahape. Our kaumātua, Mr. Joe Harawera. Tēnā koutou. And a very special welcome to today's honour recipients. It's a real pleasure to host this investiture ceremony and bring together five honour recipients, along with their family and friends, to recognise the contributions they've made to our country. As Governor-General, I have the authority and the privilege, on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold an investiture for her and to confer the honours to which each recipient is entitled. An investiture ceremony is one of the most important duties I perform as Governor-General, so it's a real pleasure to resume these ceremonies after the disruptions we all experienced earlier in the year. On these occasions, it's my privilege to bring together individuals who've made an exceptional contribution in their respective fields of endeavour. Some have a national public profile, others are very well known in their own communities. But what they have in common is the positive impact they've made on the economic, environmental, social or cultural environment of New Zealand. This will be a memorable day for you and for your family and friends who've come to witness your investiture and to celebrate with you. Ladies and gentlemen, as each recipient comes forward, I invite you to join me in thanking and congratulating them for their service to our country. Mr Ward Carmel will now read the citations for each recipient and invite them to come forward to receive their insignia. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an Officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Ms Karen Hay of Auckland, for services to broadcasting and the music industry. Karen Hay was the host of the classic music show Radio with Pictures. She is acknowledged as one of the first New Zealand presenters to speak with a distinctly New Zealand accent on television. Since hosting the show, she has made music videos and documentaries, managed Kiwi FM, hosted Talkback at Radio Live, and presented a weeknight, a weeknight Radio New Zealand national show. Her 1986 petition for the New Zealand music quota, which gathered more than 250,000 signatures, helped create a voluntary quota for featuring New Zealand music artists on local radio stations. She was the inaugural Auckland Chair for Women in Film and Television in New Zealand. Ms Hay is also a published novelist, winning the Montana Best First Book Award 
and to Frank Sargison and to Michael King Fellowship. Ms. Karen Hay, please come forward. Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs. Shuileti Fiume A. Burroughs of Auckland for services to Tongan arts and education. Shuileti Fiume A. Burroughs has created ngatu, tapa paintings, kahoa he lala, neck adornments, and other forms of Tongan art in New Zealand since the 1970s. She and her daughter worked on a project to revitalise tupper making in her home village of Falevai, and she has since travelled the world delivering workshops and talks. She has presented several international exhibitions, and her work has been acquired by Auckland and Otago museums. She volunteered for Hospital Hector Trust Group, selling her craft to fundraise for medical equipment. She volunteered as an arts educator at Akoteu Gatokagala Tongan Preschool in Otara. Mrs. Burroughs is an active member of the Manurewa Methodist Church. Mrs. Sulieti Fiema A. Burroughs, please come forward. Mr. Graham North of Walkworth for services to architecture and natural building standards. Graham North is an architect with a long involvement in the natural building industry. He was the founding chair of the Earth Building Association of New Zealand. He developed the original earth building standards and is currently updating the standards. He promoted the integration of productive plants and restorative buildings to create designs he calls Livingscapes. He is chair of the Standards New Zealand Technical Committee for Earth Building Standards and was a founding trustee of the YIMFY Trust, the Centre for Appropriate Building Technology. Mr North has presented papers at numerous conferences and gave the keynote speech at the International Conference on Straw Bale and Natural Resources. Mr Graham North, please come forward. Mr. Don Scarlett 
of Hamilton for services to conservation. Don Scarlett is chair of the National Wetland Trust, co-chair of the Maumatautari Ecological Island Trust, a founding member of the Waikato Ecological Enhancement Trust and an advisory trustee of Waikato Rivercare. He has enabled local iwi to develop social and economic enterprises that are founded in community-based environmental initiatives. His work has led to job creation, improved consultation with Māori, and improvement to public places and reserves such as Lake Rotopiko Reserve. Mr Scarlett is also a trustee of the National Wetland Trust and he has assisted in gaining full public access to the site and creating a pest-free area around the part of the site. Mr Don Scarlett, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal. Reverend Eveni Langalunga of Auckland for services to the Nguyen community. Reverend Eveni Langalunga was a founding member of the Pacific Islanders Presbyterian Church Aotearoa, PIPC, in Newton and Otara. He developed three other PIPC branches, each with community initiatives for youth and women, as well as three language nests. He initiated the first lay preachers group to include women. He set up Honomodu, a body of Nguyen people in the Presbyterian Church of Aotearoa, New Zealand. He held various roles with Presbyterian support services at Friendship House in Manukau. Reverend Langalunga developed a Nguyen community radio spot and a worship group for Nguyen people in Sydney. Reverend Eveni Langalunga, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture is concluded. Our honours system is our nation's highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces values and behaviours that sustain our communities 
and help our nation thrive and prosper. And these include service, courage, manaakitanga, and the pursuit of knowledge and excellence. By using their talents to make ours a better society, whether by service to their communities or by their leadership in diverse fields of endeavour, or their commitment to excellence in their own field of expertise, our recipients have set a fine example. To the recipients, it's been a privilege to hear your stories today. You've demonstrated determination, compassion and commitment in your daily lives. In your own way, each of you has helped make Aotearoa New Zealand a better place to live. In some cases, your influence and the positive impact of your work has extended beyond our shores. Your actions and the stories we've heard reflect the spirit of the words of Tupuya Erani, Princess Tupuya, when she said, Mahia te mahi mo he paina mo te iwi. When you work, work for the well being of the people. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I thank you for helping to make Aotearoa New Zealand a better place, whether by dedicating your lives to the public good, achieving distinction in your chosen field, or inspiring others with your leadership. Please wear your insignia with pride, knowing that your achievements are recognised and valued, and others are inspired by your example. Ladies and gentlemen, that almost brings to a close the formal part of today's ceremony. But before we break for refreshments, I'd ask you all to stand and join me in singing our national anthem. <laughs>